Resilience is a concept that comes from the psychological uh, sector. It's a capacity of individual to survive shocks. When I'm in the village, I explain resilience as a kind of uh, bamboo tree that, although, for instance, if there is a big storm, it will bend, but it has still the capacity to bend back. And if you look at disaster risk reduction, climate change adaptation, poverty reduction, they all aim at making communities more resilient. In the resilience project, try to see them not as separate items, but as three facets of one main problem, the growing difficulties of communities, societies, countries, to be able to resist to shock. Indonesia is located in Southeast Asia in an area which is known as rich for its biodiversity, rich for its role in terms of the carbon and moisture exchange in the planet. So whatever affect an area like Indonesia has repercussion in the rest of the world. In the beginning we really didn't know that much what to expect, so we tried to look at what are the risks they are facing, the disasters they are experiencing in the past. The Megawest project, this place was badly devastated and all of those trees has been cut down and then they built canals and when they built canals they also put up the pirate layer to the topsoil and that makes the water in these locations much more acid. He is a local source migrant for Manusu village and then he said that before the Megawest project he could easily get fish in these locations. But after the Megaris project, um, the, the fish couldn't survive it here. Menurut pendapat saya, hujan yang masih turun pada bulan September itu sangat berbahaya bagi kami. Contohnya, kalau menurut tahun-tahun yang telah lalu, buah-buahan tahunan ini sekarang sudah mulai berkembang. Sekarang pada kenyataan tidak ada berkembang. Jikalau kebakaran ini bisa tertangani dengan bagus ya, saya kira uh, untuk depan ini juga akan tingkat kesejahteraan pun juga akan ikut membaik. Gitu. Kalau saya ya kalau bisa ya ini Jalannya. jalan terutama kan, jalan, ya. terus yang kedua nih kalau bisa ya gimana ya listrik terutama kan terus anak-anak lah perlu perhatian. Gitu. It's like the community is being targeted from outside by different threats. That could be economic threats, it could be climate threats, it could be disaster threats. So you try to make the community resilient to these threats from outside. We did quite some different assessments with the different villages, uh, mapping assessments, uh, hazard mapping, vulnerability assessments, uh, as well what, what is their uh, livelihood consisting of. It's always challenging when you just arrive in the village, you're just doing your first assessment. You're trying to get a grip of the situation, who's who, trying to find the common ground. Ya, kalau menurut saya pribadi, itu lebih ba baik, Bu, soalnya ya menambah wawasan saya sekaligus menambahkan supaya kan gimana ada perhatian khusus dari luar gitu. Berarti mungkin mengharapkan desa ini lebih maju. I challenge them now to look for the coming 20 years and to see their own position and what kind of cropping they would have, what kind of livelihood they would have. And really clear became that they see the future with rubber trees. We just had uh, two sessions with two groups related to their visions of how the next 20 years they want the condition in this village should be. And now we will put the group together in one session to confront the female a perspective and a man's perspective of how the future should be. Welcome back everybody. Okay. Um, I've seen already long discussions going on with both groups. It was quite interesting uh, to get the two groups back together and to see what the difference were in their views in long term. Saya kira cukup menarik ya. Seperti yang kita saksikan uh, ada rasa ceria, ada rasa kebersamaan dan harapan saya uh, kebersamaan ini terus selalu ada ya karena itu memang sebagai modal kita untuk melangkah ke depan. Sehingga besok itu akan lebih baik dari sekarang itu yang paling saya harapkan.
rencana kita membuat jangka pendek, jangka menengah, atau jangka panjang. Nah itu harus kita memerlukan kerjasama dengan masyarakat-masyarakat yang ada. Pokoknya kita harus ada kekompakan. This project is made of different phases and this workshop is part of the first phase where we try to understand from the grassroots level communities and local NGOs how they perceive those three issues of climate change, disaster risk reduction and poverty reduction. We try to bring the different actors on the table which are usually working separately. This morning we had an introduction of uh, the different participants. Then we divided into two groups, the farmer and village representatives on the one hand and the NGO representatives on the other hand who bring projects to this region. We had an interesting exchange of how the villagers conceive of climate change. For them it's a rather abstract concept, but they realize that the rainfall patterns are becoming more erratic. Menurut saya, secara pribadi, Salah, ta, salah satu poin penting yang harus kita diskusikan itu yang pertama dengan adanya perubahan iklim. So there is more uncertainty and they would like some certainty, some projects that will bring them certainty such as rubber plantation. But they also see that the different concepts are interrelated. So in a way there, there are quite some similarities between how the NGOs and the villagers conceptualize things but also some very striking and interesting differences which sometimes are bring out hilarious uh, uh, exchanges. We are not only challenging uh, the community and NGOs to talk with each other, but as well they are challenging us to reflect on what we think from our own perspective, because we also came into this project uh, with our own views and own uh, beliefs, expectations and prejudgments maybe even that there is a miscommunication. This morning they were drawing their ideal future in the villages. I really hope that in the next workshop we get the responsible agencies and authorities at the table. And we have to prepare it very well because it's very sensitive. And we have also to see how it fits in the in the more global approach of the resilience project. So I want to finish with a big applause for everybody who has been helping. Karena banyak hal baru yang kita dapatkan dan kita punya suatu indikasi bahwa kita ikut berperan ke depan. Apa yang menjadi masalah di desa dapat kita sampaikan dan ada. Kami berharap tindak lanjutnya akan kita lakukan di kemudian hari. The critical element would be, of course, what will come after the workshop. And people are very much expressing their wishes that it's just not one drop in an ocean of uh, problems and needs. Ini yang paling penting menurut pandangan saya itu harus dilakukan pendampingan dari sejak awal bantuan itu sampai masyarakat berhasil. What I see here in general is really a will of people to, to get ahead. If you talk to the people in the village, they all say, for me, we want the rubber trees as a destination, as a good future. But for the children, they all want education, higher level, work in different sectors. People have really long-term planning in their heads. They really want to get ahead in life. Sebagai makhluk hidup mempunyai hak untuk hidup yang lebih makmur dan yang lebih sejahtera. Jadi guru. Aku mau jadi polisi. Mau jadi guru. Aku mau jadi tentara.